What is up, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel on this Wednesday morning. And yeah, okay. The rumor mills are flying once again like they always do. And there's a little bit to talk about, and I'll try to do it as quickly as I can. They claim... The Elite is close to coming back to AEW Wrestling, which is Kenny Omega, Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. And it's also getting close to the point where we will find out the future of CM Punk. Uh, the locker room has clearly stated uh, they don't want him back. But with that being said, the locker room's also a little worried about when the Elite come back. If Tony Khan decides to start pushing them right away, which is putting everybody in the locker room, they it sets them back. Because without the Elite and without CM Punk and now without Hangman Adam Page due to injury, they have to utilize more of their stars like they did when they first began. And this is an issue that Tony Khan's got to figure out. I think he needs to do the right thing. Yes, bring back the Bucks, bring back Omega, but slowly energize them into any kind of really huge picture. Don't bring them back and go right after the trio's title, which they were the first to win. Because it's going to tick a lot of fans off. Because it does seem like that the elite is always involved in everything big. But, on that note, remember, all elite wrestling was named after the elite. And this group included Omega, the Bucks, Cody Rhodes, and Hangman Page. And they were really the five guys that really started AEW along with Tony Khan. So, yeah, you need to bring them back. Um, it creates different amount of matches, and let's face it, you know, AEW has not been bad without them, and I think they are far much better, for sure, without CM Punk, who to me was a cancer, who came in, and I think he, he faked us all out. And I think he faked out Tony Khan, and then once he got his contract, and they pushed him for the belt. And, you know, he told Khan right out, you put me up against Hangman, I'm not losing. And they did it anyway. And that was a big thing. Now, a lot of people are saying Triple H is interested in CM Punk. I have read no reports that he's interested. And quite honestly, why would he want him? Triple H is is really pushing the WWE forward. He's bringing in people that should not have been let go. And he's doing a good job. I think throwing CM Punk into that mix, a lot of people would say, would be awesome. But I think the majority would say, why are you screwing up a good thing? He's not needed. And the focus will be on him. And it's going to take the focus away from a lot of the stars that Triple H has been pushing. Now, there are also rumors that Sasha and Naomi could come back. And here would be a cool thing. Because we're going to see Judgment Day against the OC. And wouldn't it be cool if Sasha come back and join Styles? and the Good Brothers, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson to feud up against Rhea Ripley, Damian Priest, uh, Finn Balor, 
Uh, this would be cool. This would be cool. And now, if Naomi comes back, what would she do? I mean, her and Sasha made great tag team partners, but in my opinion, I think Naomi, Naomi should join the bloodline. Let's face it, she's married to an Uso, and what perfect way to expand the bloodline faction. So, Triple H, you don't need CM Punk. And uh, that would be a bad thing to do. Let AEW buy out his contract. Let him go back home and sit. And let his wife, AJ, keep on writing her books and whatever. They both don't need the money. And quite honestly, CM Punk, when he first got to AEW, said he's here to help the young kids. What did he do for the young kids? He beat them all. Let's face it. And then he became champion. You know? So, that's the way I look at a lot of this. And um, right now, the leadership in the locker room, the younger wrestlers, they're enjoying the leadership because it's Chris Jericho, John Moxley, and Brian Danielson. And they're happy with that. And those are the three right now that are actually carrying AEW going into full gear. And for me, if you're going to bring back the elite, have them show up at full gear. Make a big impression, a big statement. And then move from there. Uh, Tony Khan, I think he's learned a lot of lessons. Um, I've read reports that he is on the side of the elite now. And as well as he should have been in the first place, he should have shut CM Punk up at that media scrum, which he didn't. But it's water under the bridge. And we got to move on. So, you know, with WWE pushing forward, AEW needs to do the same as well. And a lot of people look at these ratings like it's a, a huge deal. Some ways it is. But, you know, Raw and SmackDown dropped in their ratings. AEW obviously dropped in theirs for Dynamite on Tuesday night. And this is going to happen. We've had we got the baseball playoffs that were going on, and now we got the World Series. So, you know, this is going to happen. Not every, every night of wrestling is not going to draw an advanced amount of viewership. You know, it's going to get, they're on an even keel. They stay at a certain level. You know, they dip a little bit, and then they go back up. But what do I think about the Elite coming back? I think Tony Khan needs them. They are part of the creators of AEW. And it was also noted that when CM Punk was signed by AEW. You know, Cody Rhodes wanted him early on. But once he got there and he saw what Punk was doing, Cody knew things were going to change. And Cody decided to ditch. Did he do the right thing? Well, maybe not. Maybe so. But going back to the WWE, he's become much bigger than he was in AEW because he was getting booed. So, we'll have to wait and see. AEW Dynamite tonight. I'll be watching it. And we'll see what develops there. So, anyway, this is the Iceman on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel on this Wednesday. It is October 26th. Peace out, everybody.
Have yourself a great day.